from, from the sea. Live coverage of a river in the river. This is from our camera reporter in Miyagi. And it looks, and it looks like the tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. Live footage of Miyagi as the tsunami has struck the area, obviously engulfing farms, homes, alongside the river. In Sendai City, this is, in Miyagi Prefecture, tsunami, live coverage of tsunami engulfing this Sendai area in Miyagi Prefecture. This is after a major earthquake hitting Japan Friday afternoon. Japan's major Sendai area where a tsunami is engulfing the area. A major earthquake has hit Japan on fr farms and homes. Obviously cars, trucks. You can see some of the uh, tsunami and it looks like some fire breaking out in in Senda in the Sendai area after the tsunami has hit. Major earthquake that was revised at magnitude 8.4. One of the largest earthquakes ever to hit Japan. You can see has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. But as you can see, live coverage of Miyagi Prefecture in northern Japan, the Sendai area. The tsunami has already engulfed some cities. Fire is breaking out due to the earthquake. In northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is in the Sendai area, Miyagi Prefecture, north of Japan. For those of you who have just tuned in to NHK World, a major earthquake hit Japan Friday afternoon about an hour ago, hour and 10 minutes ago. Japan's meteorological agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. It has revised it upwards to 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. In northeastern Japan's Iwate prefecture, tsunami waves of over four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that the tsunami could reach between six and ten meters currently contacting local governments and related agency to assess the extent of the damage earlier prime minister Naoto Kan and his cabinet ministers have gathered at the prime minister's office where an emergency task force has been set up to respond to the earthquake the task force will gather information on damage and prepare for more possible tsunamis Japan's foreign minister, Takeaki Matsumoto, has ordered his officials to start preparing to accept foreign assistance. He has also told them to check on the safety of foreigners living here in Japan, where a tsunami has already struck. And you can see some of the damages so far in Miyagi Prefecture, northern Japan, and the Sendai area, but also for Russia, Marcus Island, the northern Marianas, Guam, Wake Island and Taiwan. For those of you who have just tuned in, Japan's meteorological agency says the quake measured magnitude 8.4. The agency has issued a tsunami warning for Japan's Pacific coast. In northern Japan's Iwate Prefecture, tsunami waves of up to four meters were observed soon after the quake. The agency is warning that the tsunami could be between six and ten meters. Your Haneda International Airport has reopened two of its four runways. The airport had earlier closed all runways. Haneda International Airport has also established a special office to look into the damage to banks and other financial institutions. This is live footage of Sendai, northern Japan. You're seeing a fire, we speak, fire breaking out after the seven point, magnitude 7.9 earthquake hitting northern Japan. Point nine, and that's exactly where that fire is occurring at this time. We're trying to get more information in regards to the extent of the damage. Our helicopter. And this is a look at Kesen Numa in Miyagi Prefecture, where the earthquake hit the hardest. You obviously see.